So when we go ahead and calculate safety stock, all we're doing is we're taking our calculation from the average inventory and then we're leaving ourselves with a buffer. So when I refer to safety stop, it just means keep a few more units on hand. just in case. So then the formula isn't too difficult. So all you do is you take your average inventory and then you add the safety stock. So if we go ahead and use our last example we calculated the average inventory to be 200 units. So I'm gonna put that here. And then let's just pretend that management always wants us to have 50 units on hand, just in case something happens to the order or if it's get delayed, then at least we have those units that we can sell. So when you add those together, that comes to 250 units. And so now that becomes the new average inventory.